Hi there, welcome to GSTube TV, your one-stop shop for everything entertainment from celebrity gossip, news, lifestyle reports happening across the globe. We bring you BTS of all of our activities also. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like our videos and share with family and friends. Thank you for being a part of our community. Ladies and gentlemen, it's like it's from fry pan to fire now for Bob Risky. You know that he's still being investigated for the v audio recording that was played by a very dark man where he alleged that he was not in the correctional facility for six months. He was in a special facility. He was being treated well and all of those things. Yeah. Now, apparently this man... You know, okay, let me start like this. Following the investigation by the um, Nigerian House of Rep, they, they had invited all the parties from Very Dark Man to Bobriski himself, and Very Dark Man honored the invitation, but Bobriski was absent that day. Now it's like they are going to request for their presence again, and then the Godfathers and everything. I mean, all the parties involved in that audio that Bobriski had allegedly incriminated by you know referring to them while talking to that person in that audio. Bobriski has now tried to flee the country and he has been arrested by the Nigerian Immigration Services, yes, according to very dark man. According to him, he said he received, an, he received a tip from somebody, like this is somebody in knows who was at the, scene of the, in, um, at the scene of the situation happening and the person told him that Bobriski was arrested this morning, that the 20... I was arrested this morning, the 21st of October, 2024, at the Seme border post on his way to escape to Benin Republic. He sent someone to help him sign his international passport and he hid in the car. The Nigerian Immigration Service is currently holding in. That is what we've heard now from Very Dark Man. He has been arrested and he's trying to flee because, of course, if he, if he, if he refuses to show up um, when they request for his presence, he has the national, um, the house of rep, when they request for his presence, again, if he does not show up to tell his own side of the story, then they might declare him wanted and, you know, they might actually find him by force and bring him. So he tried to flee the country so that, you know, if he leaves the country now, he's not going to be in the country, they can't really extradite and all of those things. So he was hoping for that to happen. But unfortunately for him, he has now been arrested. But this is coming um after the a federal government panel that was um was it was a call that was set up to check the in the prison situation them saying Babriski in that audio saying that his godfather facilitated facilitated how he was moved from the prison to a different place and that was close to the prison so that whenever they needed to do edge count and whatnot it could be available and it looked like he spent six months there right um so the, the an investigative panel was set up investigation panel was set up to look into it but these guys have now given their report and according to them they said that he served his jail term in prison but the only difference was that he enjoyed special privileges but that there is no evidence that he slept outside the prison where he was supposed to be but if that is it why then was he fleeing nigeria or is it the report of his arrest that is false? Because very dark man dead Bob Risky to come out to um um what's it called now refute his claims that he was arrested. Because um when because when um what's it called now? Bob Risky, when Bob Risky came out of prison and he said some persons helped him in prison, including Don Jazzy and Co. Very dark man came for those set of celebrities that sent money to him. But from the look of things, it seemed like these were people that Bobriski ran to to, you know, um, plead for them to loan him some money and whatnot. And he just came out publicly and appreciate them. But he didn't say it like they loaned him money. Because very dark man set up an initiative and one of the persons that gave Bobriski money, they knew he said he had lost all respect for Don Jazzy, gifted him a hundred million, that's one hundred million Nigerian naira. And very and very dark man accepted it and you know he praised Don Jazzy. And Bobriski came out to quickly you know mock him and say look at you the same persons you say you lost respect for because they gave me money they are the same persons that are now worshiping because they gifted you money what what has happened to your integrity yes so you know since Bobriski quickly mocked him and made a video about that 
very dark man dared him that this video that he very dark man has just made about him being arrested if he's sure for bob risky and if he wants to claim he's not arrested he should better go on instagram live right now and show himself and his face and show us where he is to show that he's not in prison or that he has not been arrested and also they said that nigerian immigration service should better quickly put out a statement um, um confirming that they had arrested bob risky before somebody in higher power now comes now to ensure that he's released and they're unable to do anything but if they've already made it public that is in their custody anybody that wants to do anything concerning bob risky's case you have to pay attention to the fact that the whole world already knows where bob risky is you know so they won't be able to quickly <laughs> remove him but like i mentioned this panel now has said that this bob risky did not sleep outside the the uh, prison ward and it was the minister of interior who initially suspended some correctional um facility officers some officers who worked in the correctional facility that suspended them following the old braha that happened it was one that sent that that set up this probe and they said they should probe um they should probe what happened in the in the facility in the period of bob risky's stay there right they said the panel did not find any evidence thus far that suggested that mr okunaya that's okunaya idris that's bob risky slept outside the custodial center during the period of his imprisonment which was from the 12th of april 2024 to 5th of august 2024 which is a six months correction correctional sentence with the usual remission applicable that is what they said they said the panel also said that they found that Mr. Okunaya Idris enjoyed several privileges while in custody, both at the medium security and at the maximum security custodial centers, which include especially the following furnished single cells, humidifier, lots of visits by his family members and friends as he desired, self feeding, designated inmates to run errands for him, access to fridge and television, and possibly access to his phone. So they are saying it's cleared of the charges. So maybe, <laughs> wait, but is this supposed to be allowed? Are you supposed to get this kind of privilege where you have your own furnished cell? You can self-feed. You are not eating prison food. That's more or less not you not being in prison. You even have inmates that are running errands for you. So, you, you know, correctional facilities where you're supposed to learn things. It's supposed to be where you do community labor and all of those things. So all of those labors and what? No, you didn't do it with them then. So they're just a special guest. Basically, in the facilities, that's what they are saying. They even said, possibly access to phone so they said that means they could not verify that i had access to phone meanwhile it was on the phone with somebody so is the video is the audio you saying the audio was actually doctored so guys this thing is a little bit confusing and we will still need um, bobrisky to make himself available for the house of reps to investigate him and ask him questions and he had better answer very truthfully in a way that nigerians will understand the things he's saying so that we can get to the root of this because at this point i'm quite invested in this story now guys i really want to know what's going on because people are saying that he had humidifier so maybe the phone call where he said oh he's close to the prison but he's not in the prison maybe he was in the prison but it was in his own single cell that was well furnished he had inmates running and maybe the voice we heard was the voice of one of the inmates who had gone to run errands for him but it was clearly on the phone and the other person on the other line recorded their conversation so they said he had lots of visits by members and family friends but this other guy who cross dresses also um, James Brown said that when he went there, he would really see Bob Risky, blah, 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 blah. So I'm, I'm, I'm really not certain what is going on. These guys are trying to play us. These guys are trying to play us. So is Bob Risky currently arrested? And if these investigations, if the result, if the, what's it called now, the findings of this investigative body, if he's correct and we're supposed to hold through to it, then that means his arrest at the, by the Nigerian Immigration Service might be connected to something else. Maybe not connected to the Obraha going on on social media between Very Dark Man and Bob Risky and what not some other persons are saying why is very dark man actually trying to witch hunt Bob at this point what does it stand to gain that one is for us to discuss at another time so is it really in custody has he been arrested truthfully because if he's been arrested and it is in relation to what these people this bra on social media the oh bank um this investigative body this probe set up this panel set up that investigated this case and gave us their findings nullifies anything because it means that that audio recording and whatever maybe it was doctored or maybe it was true you could just be risky boasting to somebody or trying to you know um you know what what's at the ground where's the ground so that by the time he makes the request the person will feel more confident to loan him money because we can already de deduce from the whole conversation that the person that um, recorded that or maybe if that is true the person that did the recording of that audio call 
was was being asked for money was going to be asked for money you know to help offset whatever bill he might have to pay the ministry of justice in order to get his case um to the quickly to the presidency for presidential pardon we can already deduce that so maybe that was what he was trying to do just make him out and whatnot and none of the things he said is true maybe just trying to you know now just spice up the story and make himself look more bougie than it currently is or make his situation look more palatable make the problem he's in look more less look lesser than what exactly it is you know i just said more or less <laughs> what an error <laughs> but i hope you can forgive me anyways guys i would really really like to hear from you guys in the comment section let's discuss it what do you think is Bobrisky really arrested has he not been arrested is the arrest in in relation to what the what what is dragging me very dark man the the result of the investigative panel also these people that have probed the whole situation let's just i just want us to actually have a talk about it and definitely this case is not going to stop here we're going to have more updates for you and when that update comes i want you to be ready to hear it i want you to be one of the very first persons to know about it so subscribe to this channel and don't just subscribe click on the bell icon so you know when we have new videos for you thank you so so much for watching this video i'm going to be seeing you in the next one until then guys take care of yourselves and bye